So in this exercise, we start with a simple particle system. So we have come across the use or creation of a particle system. So in the last few exercises, we have used, for example, using a sphere and then a sort to randomly emit the particle out of the surface of the sphere. And then we also come across the use of a metal ball and a force in order to create or apply a force along with the particle system. And in one of the early exercise, we also use, for example, in the creation of the particle, we no longer use the point sprite or 2D form. We use, for example, a small box. We reduce the size of the box and then use a copy command later in order to duplicate the box at the element of the particle system. So the box become the data and the particles become the temperature. And for the final output, the copy one, we enable the display and also the rendering thread. So this is the effect we have done before by using the 3D form as a particle system. So regarding the force, we try to use the directional force in the horizontal direction, that is in the x-axis, and then use the radio or radio rotation as the force to attract the particle back to the axis. And the next step we would like to use is by making use what we have done before is the audio information and how we can relate the audio information back to the movement of the particles. So first of all we select the audio So in the payback, you see the change in the waveform. And the second one, if you would like to hear on the monitor the audio, you put in an audio out over here. And at the same time, we use the pitch we have just done to analyze the audio information. And after the pitch, you can, for example, decide to use, for example, the either the volume or the pitch in order to trigger some of the effect within the particle system. So in this way, you can use a select command. Maybe we just select some of them. like the volume we have just done before. And then according to the value or the range of the value, you can add in other command like the mass to perform some calculation in order to, for example, drive the force. In that case, so I plan to do is I will make use of, for example, the channel 1 volume in order to manipulate the force which is in the x direction, that is the directional force. So I make use of this number and try to send it back within the geometry 1 in the relation of the use of the force. So for the maths, if you are happy with the number, it's okay, but if you would like to, for example, increase the size or the number, you can type in other information like 2 or 3 or 4 according to your decision. So the next step is a little bit tricky because we have to export this channel operator, the number over here, into something inside the geometry 1. So it's quite difficult in this case for you to drag click here and then send it outside, send it inside this particular box. 
and the way to do it is we try to make use of the split screen facility of this editor. Right here, you can sp split the screen into left and right. And within the right hand side, for example, you can double click and go inside the geometry. And then you go inside to have a look of the force and press the P button to evoke the parameter over here. So in that case, you can go back to the left hand side and then turn on the wheel active flex over here and drag this one across the screen. Go to the right hand side of the XO force and then release to select the export shop. So in that case you will see the dotted line connected from this object back to this geometry over here. So when you are done, you can select close to close the right hand side panel and go back to this location. And in this way, you will use, for example, the volume one to change the direction of the force. And you can see the width of the force applying to the particles. There's not a very linear way to continue driving the particle, but in a way this little mode staccato in a way that is changed according to the volume of your music. And we plan to add one more thing, that is we make use of the channel two and in order to create or alter the rate of sending out the particles. So we split it again, go inside the geometry, go to the particle, and see over here. And we can change the birth width over here. So what I'm going to do is I try to add another mass. And for the channel 2, I do a multiplication into a bigger number, like multiplied by 10. So if you start the playback, so this number will be a little bit bigger, because it's multiplied by 10. So, that, And in that case, I will make use of this number to drag it to the birth rate. again with the same export. When you are done, you can close this one and come back to the original and start the playback. And you will notice that there's less particle coming out and the rate of coming out of the particle is depending on the volume. So the higher the volume, the more particle come out from the system. And the next step is you can also add in other effects for each of the particle we have learned before. For example, by using a movie in, you can add in other information like a texture and put it into material like the font and we will cover the use of the material in the geometry so we select it put it over here and for the material we'll make use of the color map of your movie in to change the appearance of the the texture So this is the final result where you can use the audio to change the movement, the rate of the force driving the particle and also the rate of it coming out from the center of the system.